Women Programmers of ENIAC, an interactive VR museum experience. This project is a part of the master's project requirements for the digital media program. This project is advised by Jay Bolter, Ann Sullivan, and Brian Nagarko. This project focuses on the experience of the women programmers of the ENIAC and their journeys. These women programmers were a part of many scientific breakthroughs and went on to make significant contributions to computing and programming. The ENIAC was the first programmable electronic general purpose digital computer which was Turing complete and able to solve a large class of numerical problems through reprogramming. This project aims to convey the stories of the women programmers in their own voices narrated in the context of the virtual ENIAC space. The materials used for research and in the creation of this experience include archival memos, letters, personal communication items, technical manuals, logs, scientific publications, press and media clippings, and 3D models. The experience consists of two main spaces or scenes. The first scene is used to provide context, instructions, and perspective to the user. And the second scene contains the main ENIAC unit and the artifacts and the narration of the women programmers. The interaction design of the experience involves gaze tracking, teleportation, hands tracking, and audio feedback. Now, let us look at the core interaction design elements implemented in the experience. They had no books or anything to teach us how to program, and they gave us these great big block diagrams of the units of the ENIAC, and we were supposed to study them to figure out how to program it and how the thing worked. Uh, well, obviously, we had no idea what we were doing. We learned, you might say from the back forward, we learned all about the tubes first and then came around and found out what the front did. So the, no manuals had been written, none whatsoever. So the some of the engineers who worked on the project gave us their great big blueprints, their wiring diagrams and their block diagrams and things. And we worked our way through these things to find out what every tube would do. Personal items and articles trigger the voices narrating the experiences of the women programmers. Everybody's saying, what are you going to do? And I keep saying, I'm waiting for a job offer from Philadelphia. So, uh, finally, when they sent the offer, they sent it by telegram. And they said I was hired and to come immediately. Well, I was on the Wabash train out of Stanbury the next night. Some interactions demonstrate the physical nature of programming as narrated by the women programmers. We took the cables that went from one machine to another. Some machines would do the work and other sections would tell it what work to do, whether to divide or to do a square root. Thank you for watching the demonstration of the project.